In this video, you will learn how to join together two videos which have been downloaded from YouTube. Before you join the videos together, you will trim both of them, shortening their length, and you will also crop the videos, removing some of this text shown here. As you can see, both videos are in my Real Player library, and both videos, as they've been downloaded from YouTube, have .flv file extensions. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add both files to MXSoft FLV converter. I want the raw video Iceland clip to be shown first in my final output, so I'm going to move it up to the top of the list. I only want to show the first five seconds of this video. So what I'm going to do first of all is select it and trim it by clicking the trim button here. So I want the first five seconds about that to be shown. That's 11 seconds. Let me just go back here and type in five seconds. I'm happy with that and I'm going to click OK. So I can see here that the original length was 1 minute 59 seconds and my trimmed length is now five seconds. I also only want to show 9 seconds of the second video, so let's select this one and click Trim. So that's the position I want it trimmed at. So I can see it's 9 seconds here and I want to click OK. The next thing I want to do is to crop the video. So I'm going to click crop and I want to remove the text here because this video will be used in the reading comprehension. I don't want the students to know, sorry, a listening comprehension. I don't want the students to know that Iceland is where the volcano is erupting. So I'm happy with that. Let's click OK. You can see the final output here. I also want to crop the other video and remove this scrolling text at the bottom here. OK. So the next thing I want to do is to join the videos together. So I've selected both videos and I'm selecting merge into one file. I need to then decide what my output file is going to be. It can be an MP4, for example, if I'm going to put it onto the server. We have lots of other file types here from QuickTime Movies to Windows Movie or Media Video files or to an FLV file. Let's select FLV file. Then I just click Start. I decide where I want my output to be and I click Start. This is an evaluation copy so I'll just click Evaluate and Continue. So the conversion has been completed now. I, all I need to do is to go to my folder and find the file. So here's my file showing. 